We're back. Wow, welcome to the greatest <laughs> internet comeback of all time. <laughs> it, well, it was the whole corona thing, you know. Eh, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, I'm vaccinated. I'm I am happy. Too. So there's Waka's ultimate weapon. Uh, it's a very garish looking thing, but As it's they nice. usually are. Uh, okay. <laughs> and we're off. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that coming again. I was um, watching you stream Pokemon that one day. Yes, it's I so was, much fun. I was remembering other um, recordings I've seen of Pokemon where it's just like this, or like the battle screen starts and then you cut, uh -huh. unless something very interesting happens, and it's like, I wanted to record like gold and silver before, but I don't know if, after, well after doing things I should have enough patience to do all that cutting. Yeah. But we should we should co op a Pokemon game. I'd sure. be so down for that. My... We, can, we can do Sun and Moon and make fun of it. Okay. My favorite are the first three. Um not to be that guy, but <laughs> I didn't play four and five until much later. I still have not played any second gen games to this day. See now that's my favorite gen, so I don't know, it was super cool. There's a lot of stuff they did that it was like, whether it hit, was a hit or miss, it was like, some of it has continued. I think the stuff they felt was good. Yeah. Like, I don't know, is day and night still a thing? Like, does that affect encounter rates and the t like what what day of the week it is you can get these hidden items and stuff? Oh, a Jack Sphere. No, Mom, I don't <laughs> want you to save my money. I want my money now. Yeah. That was actually like a mini thing for, was it Stadium 2? Or like, you actually go into your character's room on the N64 and see all the dolls that mom has bought with your money. Hey, come on! It's the right thing to do. Everyone depends on I, I, you know, all, there's all, all this talk of like this one audio drama that's out of becoming like 10-3. Oh yeah, I heard about that. But like... I, I want these three in the game. Like, that's what I want. Like, yeah. I think that's what every fan really wants. Like, the story of these three together on their pilgrimage. It's like... like uh, I don't want you to take away my happy ending <laughs> in 10-2 from me, okay? The, that's why, like, the Marauders on Harry Potter are way more interesting than Harry Potter was. Yeah. I want that story. And I don't want... The endless transphobia and racism and everything that comes with it. Gotta cut that out. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> I I watched that um I watched that series through one time and it was just actually last year. Mm -hmm. The girl I was talking to was uh a big Harry Potter fan, so I said, What the hell? <laughs> and I watched it with uh the guys from Mystery Science Theater now Rift Tracks commenting on it, so it yes. was extra funny. Like, welcome to hour 738 <laughs> of the Harry Potter movie series. But, uh, like, what was the, there, I think my favorite was from the, the first movie where they're like, so we don't have, it was like, almost like Twilight in a way, where it's like, so we don't have an antagonist yet. These are just kids having fun at school. Right. Like, you need to set up a villain, but just going around and getting everybody's ultimate weapon here. I should boot up uh, the PS4 later and show you <laughs> what it's like when you complete everyone's sphere grid completely. Oh boy. With, you know. Look at that. Many thing. stats that maxed is, out. That is goofy. She smells other animals on you. Yeah, there's a couple of those. That's cool. I've been all over the place seeing all sorts of cats. It's the way to do it. I mean. Today, today is my one adopted brother's birthday, so maybe I'll be heading over there later. But the cat's there are growing, and the dog's well, he's the dog. So Ina's used to smelling other things. Now she's gonna mark your laptop for a little while because that's what she does. That's fine. This is mine now. Don't don't bite it. She does that to the medicine cabinet, and I'm like, why are you chewing? <laughs> Why are you chewing on wood? Like, do you need rough edges? Is that what you're telling me? I will see you again. Yes. Well then. The, uh... Going already? The 
one cat that I live with right now is named Mort. He's entirely black except for one small white patch. Farewell. Like right below his neck. And he's evil and his tyranny should not be tolerated. Hmm. But he also loves me, so like that's a good improvement. So he's not mean? No, he's not mean, he's good. just an asshole. Yeah, they can. They can be that way. Like I said on D and D and D yesterday, she, like, I'm here. Well, I got her wound up too, but I'm here like talking to her, and she literally like jumps at my face. No ill intent. Like right. she's like, "You're just a giant cat too. We can play, right?" I'm like, "Well, your claws hurt me though. <laughs> Don't do that." This is like the freaking Jack and Brasca world tour right now. Right. Did this. What I usually do in these is, um, like that. So we should see how much time we have left. Yeah. What I'm actually gonna, um, you, well, fuck, I messed up my sentences. What I usually do is you go back all the way to the Sade, so and you can travel through with, um, weapons from the monster collection thing from in the Calm Lands, and that's a good way to get all those monsters, and also... Pick up all these items and get all the little bonus stuff that you can. Because you can literally go all the way through um, the map minus like Beaconel Island. Just on boats. Nice. <laughs> boats and pants and boats and pants. Boats and pants and boats and pants. That's the part where he gave up drinking yeah. because he stabbed the sure I mean... <laughs> I'm just thinking now of someone, like, being too drunk at a circus and stabbing an <laughs> elephant. It would kind of ruin the proceedings. It would kind of ruin the circus entirely. Yeah. I'm glad those aren't really a thing anymore. Nope. Because, um, my one client really likes the movie Dumbo. Oh, uh, okay. And just re-watching that is like, no, this isn't cool. Like, How about that scene where Dumbo gets drunk? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't really mind that, or even, like, the, crows. the super racist crows. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind them as much as, like, seeing at the beginning, like, we're like, yeah, oh, um, Dumbo's mom is super mad, so we're just gonna whip her for some reason, sure. because you wanna, yeah. you wanna further agitate the giant creature that can kill you by stepping on you. As you do. But, yeah, that's, I don't know. <laughs> That maybe that's one to take away. Like, that's the whole thing that happened with the Dr. Seuss books lately, where it's like, people think they were banned, but it was like their no. family that stopped deciding to publish them, if I, if I read it correctly. So there were only like four or five of them. Yeah. There was like, Ambion Zebra, and If I Ran the Zoo. Why am I doing was like this? The, like, st I've ones never read that nobody that. Yeah. cares yeah. about. It's not like we're banning green eggs and ham or something. Yeah. And it's not even being banned. They're just not being published anymore. I'm, I'm going to say this, and it might be kind of controversial, but I think he's kind of hacky. Um, like, I don't see... I'd call him overrated. Okay. That's that's probably more fair. I didn't see the appeal. I, again, it's not really meant to appeal to me, though, So at this point. so. Um, but just like... Well, I think it was Green Eggs and Ham, where it's like, you can do it in a this, and you can do it in a that. Right. And, like, that's, that's like, third or fourth grade English, really. Uh, even before that, I would say. Okay, I would, yeah, maybe I'm giving it too much credit. Oh, Yo Jimbo's Cavern. All oh, right. You can just teleport around, and... I always thought it was a cool little hidden area, semi-hidden area. Oh, we're actually getting your Jimbo here? Uh, maybe. We're going to uh, make a bid for his services. Oh, yeah, that's right. This that's is right. how, this is how, um, in the HD version, to get the trophies for, like, beating all the Dark Aeons, that, right. like, literally their stats are ridiculous and their health, like, what you do is you get your Jimbo, there's a hidden relationship meter between her him and Yuna you build up so it's like when you grand summon him with her overdrive every time he will do his one one cut kill move wow you lowball him like 
crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 22.5 million gil. Uh, I'll, well, I'll, I won't go any higher than 1.7. See, well, that, that's what you have to do, though. You cut it so low, but it's a sweet spot. If you put it too low, he'll be like, are you kidding me? But if you put it too high, like you're giving it, I ended up giving him like 50,000 less gil, I think. But you just got to go back and forth with, you got to haggle. Because that's, you know, I want to haggle with my gods. What are you, what are you doing? I'm up here now. <laughs> Please be careful. Oh, I get, gotta buy that new guitar anyway. But. I like his dog. I'm depressed that I never got to fight that weird snake dragon thing. Yeah, look at that thing. Okay, Rally. so, like, you just, Rally. once you go for all, you, you have to talk to him. Well, obviously. But <laughs> you can check once you get like the area mass like I picked up every single animal from these areas. Oh, okay. So like now for that you get certain items. When you get nine of each you get certain items. And when you get every kind of species like like all the all the wolf looking coyote type animals, you get completely uh -huh. all that. You get another thing, and for each of those, he makes a custom monster that you're supposed to fight, which you can use to abuse the sphere system again. Now, this took takes hours to do. I'm guessing this is the abridged version we're seeing here. Well, we're not we're not even really seeing that much. This is like the way I normally play ten, and this was recorded from the PS2 version. Yeah. But uh, no, I did that just to get the uh, the trophies for it. The only one I'm missing that I really want is nine, but some of those are ridiculous. Like, I mean, reaching level 100 is fine. I just haven't had take the time to ever took the time to do it. Gotcha. But like, defeat defeat nine ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine monsters. Like, oh, okay, sure, why not? Now, there are places where like you can leave the game on and there'll be auto battles. Like, you can set up a script on your computer to do it. But, like, I don't know if I trust all that running, like, while I'm in bed or something. Yeah. Because all the stuff that could go wrong with the system or the computer, and then, like, not even serious stuff. Like, what if Yuna, know, like, at, walks over it and, like, crashes the whole system? Like, I don't know. I still haven't got the jump rope one right. I got up to, like, 947, and then it quits. You have to jump rope a thousand times, and you're supposed to just hit X. And then change, God. change the timing and stuff. But they're a way to run a, a script on here, so you just cast your gameplay to your laptop. We're doing hacker level shit from the nineties <laughs> to get, to yeah, to get these fucking trophies right now. I wouldn't even care if it wasn't a Final Fantasy, really. Like one of the games I played. I just want to be really good at the games from my childhood that are still applicable. That's why I'm speedrunning Pokemon Sapphire. Right. <laughs> the rate I'm going, I can beat that game in three hours. That's like my whole thing lately. I've had this, since I was started, this is last year too, since I started writing like what I'm working on and stuff, I've been in this weird like late 90s, early 2000s adolescent nostalgia <laughs> stage and it's like my mind's going back there and it's like why is this so addictive? Because we, it's just, it's just the chemicals that we have in our brains where it's like these were the good old days. It's like, well, I'm actually way happier now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, these are the possibilities of, like, being a high, this crazy high school student. You can write, like, the story the way you always wanted to be or something. That's the beauty of writing. You just, you can make anything happen. I should mention, like, these items he's given are, like, these 99 doors to tomorrow. You're supposed to use them to, like, customize your weapons mm -hmm. and stuff. But, uh... Again, in the HD game, those weapons are like, there's like auto, like auto potion for any status, auto revive, break the HP limit, like, if you put the time in, you can absolutely destroy this game. I believe it. It's much like I'm redoing 8 now, just for fun, because I didn't like the audio quality, but, uh, of the live stream version, but, um, break it so easily. Be more collecting next time. 
But back to the airship. <laughs>